Assalamu alaikum and hello to everyone. How are you dear students? Welcome to the channel, The Twins Academy. We were discussing the MCQ related with nuclear physics and that's the episode number three of the nuclear physics and the subtopic is structure of atom. So under this topic, we will discuss basically three main definitions and their concepts and those definitions are definition of atomic mass number, charge number, and nucleate nutation. So first of all, I will define these three definitions so that concepts can be clear and we can proceed easily. The very first definition is atomic mass number and this definition represents the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. and it is represented by A is equal to number of protons plus neutrons. Number two, the definition of charge number and it is represented by capital Z and it is total number of protons. But where? In nucleus. And definitely this will be Z is equals to P. And the third definition is definition of number of neutrons. So total number of neutrons in nucleus and we can use this notation of A and Z to find the number of neutrons that is N is equals to A minus Z. So we can calculate the number of neutrons like this we will put the value of atomic mass number minus charge number. And the third part was capital X. It is the nucleide notation. Let's suppose if I'm going to write this C6, 12, then in this example, C represents X, 6 represents the value of Z and 12 represents the value of A. So from here we can see that number of protons plus neutrons is equal to 12 number of protons were 6 and number of neutrons we can calculate 12 minus 6 is equals to 6. Now I hope so that these terms are clear to you. Now let's start solving the questions. The nucleus of nitrogen atom can be represented by 7 and 14. the nucleus of this atom. So now it is regarding with the nucleus. So what was the structure of atom? The central part of atom was called as nucleus and the nucleus carry protons and neutrons. And from here, X, A, Z, 
A is equal to 14 is equal to protons plus neutrons and Z is equal to 7 number of protons. So what we were requiring the nucleus of this atom. So in nucleus what exists or what reside in nucleus? Protons plus neutrons and now how many protons and how many neutrons? So we will calculate number of neutrons 14 minus 7 is equals to 7. So number of neutrons are 7 as well as number of protons are 7. So which option is correct? Option B is the correct answer. 7 protons and 7 neutrons. Although number of uh, protons are equal to number of electrons but we are concerned with the particles inside the nucleus. So this is the reason the answer will be option B. A nucleide of element plutonium is 94 Pu242. What is the number of neutrons? Okay, again the same method. A is equals to 242 protons plus neutrons. Z is equals to 94 number of protons. What we are requiring? Number of neutrons. A minus Z. So 242 minus 94. So it's 148. So which option is correct? Option B is the correct answer for this question. Next question. A nucleus of sodium Na has 11 protons and 12 neutrons. Okay, now we have to construct the nucleide notation. X A is equals to protons plus neutrons. Z is equals to number of protons. Now we will substitute the values over here. Number of protons 11. Protons plus neutrons, 11 plus 12, 23. And obviously in place of uh, X, what we will write? Sodium, 23, 11. So which option is correct? Option C is the correct answer. Next question. A nucleus of element cobalt may be represented by the symbol CO2759. What is the structure of this nucleus? By yourself and write your answer in comments. Don't forget to write the MCQ number. This is MCQ number four. And I am giving you one hint that your answer will be from these four options. This is a very big hint for all of you that your answer will be from these four options. This is my guarantee to all of you. So best of luck. And let's see what you will write in comments for this MCQ. The next one, the symbol of one isotope of uranium ninety two U two thirty three. How many neutrons, protons, and electrons? One thing we know that number of protons are equals to number of electrons, and uh, from this Z is equals to 92 and z was number of protons so number of protons are equal to number of electrons so we will search 92 in protons 
and in electrons protons and electrons 92 and 92 and in all other values number of protons are not equal to number of okay in this value as well let's see now it's the tie up over there but the value was 92 so this option is wrong as well and it's mean that which option will be correct option option c and we can calculate the number of neutrons value of a was 233 so number of neutrons were a minus z 233 minus 92 and that is 141 so option c is the correct answer Okay, almost the same question, but with the different options. So, bus, B-U-S, by yourself and write the answer in comments and don't forget to mention MCQ number. Now, definitely these Three can be answered. Rather, four, all four values are equal. Wow. 143, 235, 92, and 92. Let's see what you will write in the comments for this question. A nucleide of strontium is represented by the symbol 88 SR38. What does nucleus contain? 88 is equals to. So we will opt out this option, electrons, okay, protons plus neutrons, 38, number of protons, so protons are 38, and, okay, so 38 protons and 38 protons, so option C is omitted out, now let's see number of neutrons a minus z 88 minus 38 and what will be the answer 50 so number of neutrons are 50 here 38 so wrong option and option d is the correct answer because number of neutrons are 50 how many electrons very simple question what is the value of Z? 7. And number of protons are equal to number of electrons. Option A. The nucleus of helium atom is represented by 2HE4. What does a neutral atom of helium contain? Okay. Number of protons. Z is equal to number of protons is equal to 2 equals to number of electrons. So, 2, 2. These options are omitted out. Number of electrons are equal to number of protons. And obviously, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 2, 2, 2. So, which option is correct? Option A is the correct answer. The last question. How many protons are there? So, number of protons is equal to 88. So, answer will be 88. I hope so that now MCQ related to the structure of atoms are clear to you. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum.